GE Aerospace and Beta Technologies have announced a partnership that is being described as one of the most significant steps yet toward transforming the aviation industry through hybrid electric propulsion. Backed by a $300 million equity investment, the collaboration aims to accelerate the design, integration, and certification of next-generation systems that combine the reliability of turbine engines with the efficiency of electric power. Both companies have made clear that the intent is not to create an incremental improvement, but rather to establish a foundation for a new era of flight, one that delivers greater performance, flexibility, and sustainability across both civilian and military domains. At the center of this initiative is a hybrid turbogenerator that brings together Beta's innovative electric generator and battery technologies with GE Aerospace's well-established turbine platforms and large-scale electrical systems. By merging these capabilities, the partnership seeks to deliver aircraft that can fly longer distances, carry heavier payloads, and reach higher speeds than current advanced air mobility solutions, all while meeting the rigorous safety standards of aviation regulators. For an industry grappling with the dual challenges of environmental impact and operational demands, this kind of integrated propulsion system could provide a practical pathway toward the future. The collaboration is not occurring in isolation. GE Aerospace has a long legacy in hybrid and electric research, having invested years into building and testing technologies that reduce reliance on conventional fuel. In 2016, the company successfully completed ground tests of an electric motor-driven propeller system, a milestone that demonstrated the feasibility of hybrid concepts. In 2022, GE pushed the boundaries further by conducting the world's first megawatt-class hybrid electric propulsion test under simulated high-altitude commercial flight conditions. These earlier efforts laid the groundwork for what is now a larger, more ambitious undertaking with Beta, designed to transition experimental capabilities into operational systems. Beta Technologies brings to the table its Alia aircraft platform, a system designed to deliver practical performance in both civil and military environments. The ALIA has been tested extensively across the United States and Europe, showcasing its ability to perform quiet, high-frequency flights while maintaining reliability in all-weather conditions. The aircraft's in-house developed propulsion and battery systems provide a unique advantage in terms of integration and optimization, ensuring that every component is engineered to function seamlessly within the overall platform. The Alia MV250 variant, in particular, has been tailored to meet defense needs, offering a capability that bridges the gap between helicopters and ground vehicles. With the ability to support distributed operations, enhance survivability, and sustain mobility in denied or degraded environments, this variant has clear applications in modern military strategies. For GE Aerospace, the decision to partner with Beta was as much about vision as it was about technology. The company's CT7 and T700 turboshaft engines, which have accumulated millions of flight hours in service around the world, represent proven reliability and scalability. By using these engines as a foundation for hybrid integration, GE ensures that the new systems will not be built from scratch but will instead evolve from platforms already recognized and certified within the aviation industry. This approach not only shortens the path to operational readiness but also provides customers with the assurance that hybrid electric aircraft can match or exceed the dependability of traditional systems. The financial structure of the partnership underscores its long-term intent. GE Aerospace's $300 million equity investment grants the company the right to appoint a member to Beta's board of directors, ensuring that strategic decisions and program development remain closely aligned with GE's broader aerospace goals. Both companies have emphasized that this is more than a financial stake, it is a commitment to building hybrid propulsion into a mainstream aviation capability. By combining resources, data, and expertise, they aim to compress timelines for certification and bring these systems into service faster than would otherwise be possible. 
The broader implications of this partnership extend well beyond the immediate technological advancements. For civil aviation, the prospect of aircraft that can operate with greater range and payload while reducing fuel consumption and emissions is a major step toward sustainable growth. As demand for advanced air mobility increases, especially in urban and regional settings, hybrid electric platforms could provide a scalable solution that balances environmental responsibility with operational practicality. Quiet operation, lower costs, and adaptability to existing infrastructure make such aircraft attractive for passenger transport, cargo delivery, and medical evacuation missions. On the defense side, the benefits are equally compelling. Modern military operations increasingly require flexible, resilient systems that can function in contested or austere environments. Aircraft that reduce reliance on traditional fuel supply lines offer significant advantages in terms of logistics and survivability. The ability to sustain operations without depending heavily on vulnerable infrastructure is critical for forces operating in denied or degraded areas. Hybrid electric aircraft could therefore become vital assets for contested logistics, tactical mobility, and rapid deployment missions. The leadership of both companies has expressed confidence in the transformative potential of this alliance. GE Aerospace Chairman and CEO H. Lawrence Culp, Jr. highlighted the importance of expanding hybrid electric technologies to meet customer demands for greater performance and efficiency. Kyle Clark, Beta's founder and CEO, described the partnership as a convergence of two teams united by engineering excellence and a shared belief in the imminent step change facing aviation. Together, their comments reflect a consensus that the industry is standing on the edge of a historic evolution, one that will redefine how aircraft are powered and operated. The challenges ahead remain substantial. Developing, testing, and certifying hybrid electric propulsion systems is a complex process that requires not only technical breakthroughs but also regulatory approval and market readiness. However, the partnership is structured to address these hurdles directly. By pooling extensive testing data, engineering expertise, and proven technologies, GE Aerospace and Beta Technologies aim to de-risk the development process and move swiftly toward operational certification. Their joint approach reflects an understanding that no single company can drive such a transformation alone, collaboration is essential for scaling innovation to the level that modern aviation demands. As the program moves forward, the aviation community will be watching closely. Hybrid electric systems represent a potential turning point, offering a bridge between the fossil fuel-dominated present and the fully electric or alternative fuel future. The investment and commitment demonstrated by GE Aerospace and Beta provide credibility to the idea that hybrid propulsion is not just a theoretical concept but a near-term reality. If successful, the partnership could lay the groundwork for a new class of aircraft that redefine efficiency, capability, and sustainability. In the broader context of global aviation, this collaboration signals a decisive shift. The pressures of climate change, fuel dependency, and growing operational demands require solutions that traditional propulsion alone cannot provide. By integrating electric technologies into proven turbine platforms, GE Aerospace and Beta Technologies are not simply following industry trends, they are setting them. The success of this effort could determine how quickly aviation transitions into a hybrid era, and whether the promises of advanced air mobility and sustainable defense aviation can be realized within the next decade.